All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for a very important and significant video in the Xenoverse 2 modding community. Yes, my friends, Eternity, the creator of the patcher, as well as the XV2 mods installer, has updated the patcher. It's full on ready for version 1.08, DLC pack number five, or expansion pass, whatever you want to call it. You guys have been requesting me to sort of notify you guys when this went live, and it's officially live today. He worked extremely hard on this. Big shout outs to him. Follow him wherever you can if I have, you know, any links for his Patreon and everything, which, I mean, it's actually right here. You can actually support him and everything, but I'm not going to show you guys how to really install all this. If you own mods, you should know how to do it. You just have to go to the Xenoverse 2 Mods installer, has its own threats. So you click on that, opens up a link for the patcher. Go ahead and open that one, and that one gives you the full-on mega file sort of website or whatever, and you can just download that one right here. And then for the mod installer, when you click on that link, it'll take you to the download for the version 1.1. So you get that one there as well from the mega website. So this is the installer. So you download that one, you get the patcher ready to go. And now let's move on back over to my desktop. All right, so as I stated before, I'm not going to go through a full walkthrough of how to install this. If you have used Universe mods and Universe 2 mods and everything, you should know exactly where these go. But just to give you guys like a good idea, you're just going to extract both of these into separate folders. For the patcher, you're going to have a couple of files all right here. So you wanna click, drag, and go ahead and copy and paste those into your Xenoverse 2 directory, as well as the XV2 patcher and everything. Don't worry about the easy anti-cheat right now. I don't think that's going to cause a problem anymore. I'll be sure to show you guys uh, when everything is ready and done and installed. And then for the XV2 INS, the installer and everything, you just click and drag these and replace the initial files that you had previously, and you just replace all of them with these, as well as make sure with the internal and everything, you copy and paste those as well, because that's pretty significant. And once you got all that done, you can go and click on the XV2 INS, and that'll open up the actual file and everything, and you can you know install your mods like normal. So I'm gonna show you guys when everything's working in the 1.08 update. All right, my friends, so as you can see right now, we are in Dragon Ball Universe 2 for the PC version. As you can see right there in the bottom right-hand corner, it says version 1.08. So we're going to go ahead and start up the game, and I want to make sure and make this completely clear with you guys. Please remain offline when doing mods and everything. If you go online with it, it's going to cause a problem. So you're going to go ahead and just click on this. It's going to give you that little notification saying like, oh, the EAC is not working and all that stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. Again, you want to be offline for this. If you go online, you know, not only are you potentially risking mods getting closed down and shut down like altogether because of how, you know, Bandai is with mods and, you know, online and all that stuff. And that's why they did all this update and stuff like that. So overall, if you installed everything correctly, you should be good to go. Stay offline with it in case a new update rolls around. But as you can see, this is version 1.08. I'm showing you guys exactly 100% the full on live like video and footage of what happens whenever you install this and showing you guys that this is, you know, legitimate proof that mods should be working. And I'll go ahead and go into the versus mode and show you guys the mods. So as you can see, the Hero Coliseum has been fully updated. I just updated my game right now, like not even two minutes ago, but the Hero Coliseum has been added to the transfer shop. Excellent stuff. And uh, I currently do not have DLC pack five. Again, you have to, you know, pay for that or the expansion pass, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to go ahead and go to the offline battles, which you guys should be doing. Remember, do not go online. I'm going to keep stressing that. I apologize. But, you know, it's just really imperative that you guys don't go online with it because, you know, that's just causing a risk. It's just posing a risk for everybody. So here it is right here. Goku in his Ultra Instinct form. Unless I got DLC pack number six, I'm pretty sure this is a mod right here. So, yes, as you can see, it works pretty well. Everything's good. I'm going to go ahead and use the character and do a little bit of gameplay real yes, quick to show you guys that it fully works fully functioning and as you can see the nameless planet uh which used to be my tournament of power uh again you guys need to make sure that you have everything uninstalled from your xv2 ins so all the mods that you had previously uh installed go ahead and uninstall those and completely clear those out and you should be good to go it will give you a notification if you do have mods and everything but look at how dope this looks man shout out to the pride troopers <laughs> this is awesome so yeah everything's working really well we got the dragon rush he's got the aura and everything we have the Ultra Burst Kamehameha, Bayaku Strike, all that good stuff. It's working pretty much flawlessly, and mods are back, my friends. So this is awesome. I'll be sure to link everything in the description below where you can download the files. And uh, just follow Eternity. Pledge them on Patreon, guys. It's the dude, the man himself that created this is making this possible. So he updated it for us, and, you know, he said for a while he wasn't going to come back, and he still did. So that is truly, you know... Like, there's the gods, the faith, everything in the mining community is still here. So, let's keep this community growing, let's keep it going. 
And hopefully you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was informative in some way, shape, or form. Again, if you guys want to install mods for yourself, if you've never done it before, there are definitely tons and millions of tutorials out there on YouTube that'll show you exactly what to do for like the basis of it. It's just this version, which I mean, it's going to be updated again, probably for DLC number six with like potentially, you know, new transformations and all that stuff that are going on. So yes, that is pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll be sure and try and help you as much as I can. But for now, that is going to do it for today's video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Happy modding and have a great day.